Aaron here. We're making some progress. This is some of the fill from the backyard, which now we're bringing the machine out. We're going to load it into the trailer. We've removed all these raised garden planters that were along here and dropped the level. The air conditioner guys were just here. They removed this air conditioning unit. And now we're gonna scoop that mess out and get it out of here so it's dropped and then they'll come back tomorrow and reinstall that back there. We removed some plants. These are all wall blocks because we made some changes on our plan. So over here, here's our patio area, which is almost ready and it's almost dug out. This is all gonna be patio. This wall that is here is being raised up two courses high. So it's gonna be up here. So we're gonna take this cap off and we're gonna keep building up. That way we level off this whole area. Instead of having a wall all the way around the outside of this patio because it slopes this way, we're gonna raise this existing wall up and have one flat patio everywhere. So there'll be a couple steps coming out of the door. There'll be a couple steps down over there off the patio. And then you have one big flat surface. And I forget where it is, but we'll be putting a privacy screen here and here, which will be nice. And that area over there will be a fire pit. And the rest of this is going to be um, patio. Come over here. This we're trying to get out of the ground. So we've dug around it and cut the roots around it. Next, we're going to take the skid steer and we're going to try and scoop that up and keep a root ball on it because we need to reuse this elsewhere. We could plant, transplant it like that and hope for the best, but we're gonna be giving it uh, to someone else to use in a commercial. So yeah, it's gonna get uh, a home after that too. It's gonna get put back in the ground when they're done with it. So that's gonna be a job in itself, just getting that out. Maybe I'll film it later, but for now, that's where we're at and we'll show you uh, the rest when we get to it. So at the end of the day, looks like we're going to be here for a while. I knew we'd be here for at least a couple of weeks, but uh, everything's been done here. We've got our downspout now buried. And it comes along the ground. It goes under this vegetable garden. And it pokes out down there. And it goes be drains out there. And there's a catch basin on the other side of the fence that'll catch all that water. Coming along here, same deal at this corner here, downspout, water will come down here, it's buried underground, comes out down there, same deal, we haven't cleaned that up, but that's where that's exiting. We've added two courses and a coping onto this retaining wall to raise up our height. 
We still have to repair this end of the wall tomorrow, and then we'll continue laying our two courses and our copings and have a step down. That's for tomorrow. And then we will have, this will be three feet of garden bed against the wall. And then there's gonna be a privacy screen down there and coming in this way. Right here, we will have two steps, maybe four, right here coming up into this patio area, which is now here. We'll have a step or two coming out of the door, probably just one out of the patio door, down onto here. All these patio slabs have been put back in here because it's good base and it's a good spot for them because we're gonna be dumping in a lot of gravel here tomorrow, probably eight yards-ish. And then we'll commence. When we get here tomorrow, we're gonna finish off the wall and then we're gonna start drilling our holes for our uh, privacy screen posts. And once we have them in and secured, we will then start lugging all that gravel into this backyard and building our base for the patio. So that's it for today, for part two. Aaron here. Are you looking to get more clients in your landscaping or lawn care business? Well, I just released an ebook and it's perfect for you. 10 proven ways that I've used over the past 16 years to build my clientele and you can too. They're easy, they're straightforward, and some of them are relatively cheap, if not free. You might not have heard of the one. There's one in there that's a doozy and it brought me in well over six fig figures in one year. Um, and it continues to make me money to this day. It's a quick read, it's less than 15 pages. It's only $9.99. Check out the link if you wanna get it.